Alright, so this story is a little shorter than the other one, but it's called The Doppelganger. The story was told by my grandmother. She used to live in a small village that was near a developing town. One day, she got back from work. It was close to probably 7 in the evening, so it started to get dark. She was walking slowly towards her house, and then she saw something that alarmed her. She has a veranda that oversees the front lawn, therefore she would be able to see anyone sitting in the veranda, as there's a rocking chair at the side. As she walked quickly towards the house, she saw that it was her grandma that was sitting on the rocking chair but facing the other way, so she couldn't see her face. Her grandma was a smoker, and so she saw the smoke puffing out. She thought, why would her grandma be smoking out here because she was sick and she should be in bed? She reached the house and looked at her grandma, puffing away even though she only saw the back of her head, she could see the smoke and even smelt it. Her grandma suddenly raised her hand and gestured for her to come nearer. She was tired from work and had a lot of house chores waiting, so she suddenly got really angry and started nagging loudly while she was stomping to her bedroom, which she shared with her grandma. She said to her grandma that she shouldn't be smoking and that she should be in bed and should take her medicine, and not smoking away and destroying her health. Then, suddenly, she stopped short in front of her room. What she saw really freaked her out. Her grandma was in the bed, looking sick, and was just sleeping there quietly. She approached her sleeping grandma and looked carefully at her. If her grandma was in bed, then who the heck was outside smoking, looking exactly like her? <laughs> she slowly crept out to the veranda and peeked outside. No one was there. Not even the cigarette smoke can be seen. She felt her hair stood up on its end and a chill running up her spine. Quickly, she closed all the windows and doors and said a silent prayer of protection for a sick grandma. The end.